Did you turn airplane mode on? He did something. Why well, is not loading? Hey, this is the behind the scenes Ooh. of her peak week and how her prep went both times around. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> both times around. So, people, we are here. Welcome to the Outlaw oh, World goodness. Recap. So, we are on Peak Week. This is her second show ever getting on stage. And that second show is actually a national show. Oh, my goodness. So, you know, before this week, I really don't think she understood her nor her teammate understood the difference from the first show we did to the show we're getting ready for. That's what I was and, saying. <laughs> and what approach and how differently this show is going to be. Trust me, y'all. When I give y'all the back end story of like how these last two weeks was, the old law would have been like, what the f are you doing? Oh, and you need to be home. But, you know, we wanted to make it a little bit easier, more free, more relaxed because we were already ahead of the game, but I'm going to shut up. I'm going to let her chat. I'm going <laughs> to ask a couple of questions. So <laughs> I just want to chat from start to finish to where we are now. When you first met me, uh, give me the give me the highlights. Give me the <laughs> recap on the process, the journey, and then I'll have a couple more questions in between those questions. I don't even know where to begin. Oh, you need to start from the day one where you was Miss I only eat one time and don't want to do this and I don't like oh I'm a, and I don't eat eggs. I don't eat I don't eggs. Do this. And I just ate up some egg whites that I still don't want. Let's that has not changed. Let's start there. Oh. Uh, it has been a complete I'll say a complete transformation. I love, I love, I love, I love. I say this all the time. I love the woman that I'm becoming. I love who I see, especially after that first show and I got my pictures back. I'm thinking to myself, I like her. I want her to stay <laughs> because she's going out and she's going after what she feels that she wants and she's not allowing insecurities and fear and all the external factors to change or um, prevent me from going after it. And I think that, of course, timing is everything. Right. I tried to do this before, and I just don't think the time was right. My right. mind wasn't there. There were a lot of things going on. And I think the difference between now and then, because there's still a lot going on. Actually, I feel like it's more Oh, going. she got a whole and story, y'all. You see mommy mode 24-7. <laughs> Axel... Axel's presence, I feel, just gives me that extra, like, gives that, push. That, that push, that motivation, because it's not just about me anymore. I want to be the best version of myself for my son. I want him to see me at my best. I don't want to see, I want, I don't want him to see me struggling or this, that, and the third. I want him to see mom at her best. Right. And so that gives me the push to keep going, to keep getting better. I take him to the gym with me, as you know, uh, even at look, my home gym. Every day, every day, they little man Axel. in the gym. <laughs> Aww, but yeah, from the first day, I remember I was on a trip, on a business trip out in Elkins, West Virginia, of all places. <laughs> and I reached out and we talked and I sent my first, I guess, check in pictures or whatever. And from there, it's just, just been taken off. off. Yeah. We went from there to. Hey, we got a vision board party. We're going to see you there. Oh, my goodness. We now, let, don't get me started on this vision board. It's amazing that everything that's on my board has come to pass this year. Everything. Hey, the, everything. The one thing that like, you put wow. on there was you. Uh, we already had a show planned. The show that we originally are supposed to do is actually next board. week. Yeah. And I gave you a phone call and was like, Charlotte Cup. And what was it you said? Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was on my vision board. Mom. It was. That I was. went to the health expo. I went to one of their classes and they were speaking. And then something about the two of them, I was like, dang, I want to go to this show. So I went and I introduced myself. And then after that, I went and I got the flyer and I just went ahead and taped it on my board. And then like, I think that was not even a week later. Then you Boom. said Charlotte Cup. 
<laughs> I was like, this is, we going up. And then to have the show, go to the show, and then perform so well, and then come back home with my medals, and I'm able to hang my medals next to my vision board. With right. The flyers. Oh, that was a full circle moment right there. And now to be going to a national show, like, tell me, like, <laughs> I'm not where I'm supposed to be right now. Right. Because <laughs> when, it, when the timing is right, when you are where you're supposed to be, things will just happen that you don't even fathom or think or imagine that would. So right. I think right now I'm just where I'm supposed to be. I think the time is right and it's just my moment. So I'm going to keep pushing forward and I'm going to enjoy it. Keep enjoying what's going on. We're going to wrap it up a little bit faster just so he doesn't get aggravated. But to recap on her show, she didn't just go and, and be flawless on stage. She actually won novice. She won the open class and really did great to be her very first show where now we're going to fight to earn for a pro card uh, this weekend at Charleston, South Carolina at Junior USA's. Uh, how this show goes is there's going to be, you know, over a hundred plus athletes oh, all competing goodness. about, all competing, wanting their pro card status and how this actually goes and she's learning it now would be the class she's in, the winner of that class will go against all the other winners in that division. The top four overall winners will earn their pro card and now become a professional bodybuilder. Oh so this is what we are working for. So the same way when you was at the Charlotte Cup and you went against the whole uh, lineup of the ladies, at that show it was only one overall winner. At this next one, it's going to be four because it's going to be a total of eight different classes. Oh so gosh. that is the difference from the regional show to the national show that we have. But guys, what I can tell you, there's not that many athletes where they do one show and then they can jump in and test the waters out on a national level and actually be a competitive athlete in for me to believe in it and for her to trust me with the process speaks a lot of volume. Uh, Y'all stay tuned to see how the physique comes out and pops. We got three more days before we jump on that stage. We're right where we need to be. We're going to do a final little bit of the touch-ups and we're going to see how this shakes out. <laughs>